Hi, this is Dave Gimberlein with Shotoru Goshinjutsu and Kata for Self-Defense. Today, I want to talk about a few basic uses for a spear hand strike. This way, or many styles often have it this way, which is fine too. Um, from a self-defense standpoint, my primary one, if you come a little bit closer, so I don't punch in my head, is this hand's going to cover so that you don't get hit. I wrap the arm and I step forward, driving back. Drive over here. This is my flinch to fix my arm up. This is driving in, stepping back. This traps his arm. His shoulders down. My uh, other hand is lifting, so this will isolate his shoulder, gives him a effect. This hand can be striking. I like picking the edge of the jaw with your palm. It's just a good solid thing to hit. Could also be your fingers into the neck here. Well, could be your thumb coming into the neck. Could be this side driving in. Could be lots of things. But the basic idea, he throws a punch, you wrap it, and you step in. Okay, the, uh, moving forward matters. The next series of, or next category of things that I use it for, i move this way a little bit, there you go. If somebody throws a punch in your head and you block it, like let's say you step back through a knife hand block, and you're now gonna step forward spear hand strike, is you capture this arm, you step across here, and you use your body weight to drop the guy down to the ground. So, uh, do like more of a step and punch. Yep, stay there. Uh, his weak spot is right behind his shoulder blade, right here on the floor. If I only push him sideways, he will walk sideways to keep his balance. Everybody would. So I'm going to push down so he can't move his feet. And I'm going to move his shoulder back towards that spot with my step. And this hand's going to feel like a saw. Saw. That was enough. Again. Over there. Punch, grab, so first you intercept, hook it, step forward, grab, push down. Keep your arm so that you have control of where he lands. If it's his left hand that is punched, and I moved over here, you're now going to use the Golgi receptor on the tricep tendon. I'm going to grab here, push the arm bar so he comes down to the ground. Uh, in addition to that, if I wanted to, once I break, I can come over and stab. Once I break his position, I can stab at the back of the nerve here. Super effective. And if I wanted to, after this, I can walk him straight down to the ground. Or I can learn to turn so that once I have him here, I turn and take him down. And he's flat that way. My partner's never done this before, so he's learning as we go. I have one more interesting variation for this last one, because I think it teaches a useful principle. If you might remember, we started with this idea. Hands are in this position. He's got his left hand here, and I'm going to push him down into the floor. He resists by bending his elbow. Bend. Yeah, up. Stand up. There you go. He's fighting against me. Do it again. Left. I start. He fights. Help him. So I'm here in the same position. Everybody gets this. It's very difficult to learn. It's easy to do. Uh, grab here. Start to slide. You meet resistance. You don't let go of anything, but you get your hands back around to this position has a name. I don't happen to know what it is. But I, I like that it varies. There are many other things you can do with this. You can use it against their legs. Uh, you can use it against their fingers, grabbing in and down. You can do lots of stuff with the spirit and strike. You can even, stand still, stab somebody in the solar plexus and it will work. You can use your palms on the side of their ribs and it will work. You can stab underneath the uh, armpit and it will work. It takes a little bit more conditioning, a little bit more precision, a little bit more timing, but basic strikes work just fine. Thank you. Uh, I guess
that's all. <laughs> Keep training. Thanks.